way down to the shelter, uh, she could see black and white smoke bellowing from different places in the city. Uh, the sound of artillery was ubiquitous, as was the sound of drones overhead. And because of the drones, the air raid silent, sirens were um, on all the time. And that's actually what was freaking out the kids a lot. Because the gas and electricity was shot off with the bombing, it was dark in the basement and it was kind of, you know, an eerie uh, environment. Inside the Nova Hotel in Yerevan, I am joined by Shushan. Thank you very much. Can you please tell me where were you and what happened on September 27? Uh, <laughs> So she said that at 7 a.m. they were woken up by artillery, at which point their neighbors told them that this was, you know, this was the war they'd all been waiting for and they all had to uh, evacuate to the basement of the building, at which point when all the women and children were safe, all the men in the building got together and just directly went over to their positions on the front. And this is in Stepanakert, in, Artsakh? She's from Stepanakert, yes. After you went down to the basement, then what happened? Each <laughs> night she says once they were down in the basement a lot of the all the kids obviously were frightened but some of the slightly older kids who had lived through the war of 2016 were asking if this was a repeat of the 2016 war uh, and they tried their best to calm their children, but because the gas and electricity was shot off with the bombing, it was dark in the basement and it was kind of, you know, an eerie uh, environment. And you could hear the bombing or did you hear drones? What did you hear? Uh, So she said that on the way down to the shelter, uh, she could see black and white smoke bellowing from different places in the city. Uh, the sound of artillery was ubiquitous, as was the sound of drones overhead. And because of the drones, the air raid silent, sirens were um, on all the time. And that's actually what was freaking out the kids a lot. She says that for, however, a lot of the older people uh, were calm because this is the third time they have to go through this. At what point were you rescued from Stepanakert and taken 
to Yerevan, and why did that happen? Yerevan is the market that's to Hanel Yerevan in Germany. Mr. Hanel and Kamavora Kaner, Vorong Facebook, Kumgra Rumain Katarel, Vor Kanansu Erehane in Tarhanumen, Vor Amenich Aveli Lurja Kantas the West Vakani, Vor Kohas the Chinchanek, Kanivor, Vatangumek, Meri Erehane in Yanka, who tends Kamavora Kaneri head, make a country event. She said that. Um, these volunteers uh, organized the evacuation of women and children through Facebook uh, um, because they had understood that the violence was much more than in 2016. And so they brought them to an evacuation point and then drove them over to Yerevan. And what is it like to live in this hotel? <laughs> Merhamarlava, Iran's Vera Pedmunka, Shad Bayat Sakama, U Nank Mes Metsiro Drama Dretin Apastan, Ye Batitranitz, Sundova Pahovetin, in Chamar, Menkshat Shnorakal. She says that they, the hotel staff welcomed them with open hearts, they've provided them with shelter, food, attention, also like they've received psychological help uh, you know, for the trauma um, and that they're very thankful for everything that they've received. What about friends and relatives uh, who are still in Artsakh and who are fighting? Can, can you say something about what it's like for them? And there are some other people who are in the Frontum <laughs> <laughs> Isk frontum duchnere barzera, then was the heads nume or Armenich Tavalinero, Hartelueng. So she says that for the remaining civilians in the area, basically everybody is in shelters because the city and, of course, the, most of the country has been bombed non stop since September 27th. In fact, just a half hour ago, the Azeris hit the maternity hospital in Stepanakir. So, you know, going out in the streets right now is hardly an option. Um, and then she says, as for the people on the front, the spirits uh, remain extremely high and they're uh, more than willing to fight to protect their country. She used the term the duch, which is sort of an Armenian slang, which translates kind of to chutzpah in Yiddish. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's what she said. Okay, and lastly, do, do you plan to return to Stepanakert after the war? Yes, of course, it's our lens and we uh, must... Yes, of course. Thank you very much. We, we. Thank any, you. any last thing you'd like to say? Um, no, and... Uh, Spurkinage <laughs> 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 <laughs>
She also wants to thank the Armenian diaspora because she has seen the amount of uh, help that they've provided, but also she's very impressed at as how uh, the entire Armenian diaspora has come together for this one cause. They've been raising money, they've been protesting, they've been blocking highways, they've been bringing press coverage, but also they've been coming and fighting and supporting the cause. She says that Armenia, Artsakh and the diaspora are now acting as one. And then she says, we will definitely win.